Opening statements have been made in the trial of accused church arsonist Eric Ridenour. He's defending himself against charges he set fire to two Douglas churches in May of last year. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live downtown with how Ridenour addressed the jury. J.D. Well, he broke down at one point and even called his opening statement his confession. Now, prosecutors have presented Eric Ridenour's motive for setting fire to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church and First Presbyterian Church in Douglas is that he did not like women or homosexuals in positions of authority in the church. St. Stephen's vicar at that time was openly gay and the pastor of First Presbyterian is a woman. Now, Ridenour broke down in tears during his opening statement today when he spoke of his visit to St. Stephen's and seeing the vicar addressing the church. The judge reminded him opening statements are only to tell the jury what the evidence will show, but Ridenour said this was his confession that God sent him several messages that he would be in court because he says homosexuality is not tolerated to be taught and that he would never do anything to hurt the church. The first witness was a Douglas police sergeant and the jury watched his body camera footage of responding to the fires. First Presbyterian members Manuel and Sylvia Valenzuela were in the gallery today. Douglas is a very quiet town. It's, it doesn't uh, you don't have much going on, and it just surprised me that someone would, would uh, uh, burn a church of that of that structure and of age, and that was really heartbreaking for us as a whole community, not just us. An ATF fire investigator also testified today, testifying that this fire was intentionally set, but he did not testify who set that fire. The jury returns 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Reporting live downtown, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.